And welcome back to Dominican Rendezvous. Thank you for joining the channel again today. Hope you're doing well. Hope this confinement and, and this lockdown is treating you well as well as to be expected. Today, I wanted to briefly talk about once again what happened in Porta Plata uh, last weekend, about a week ago, where we saw the pilgrimage of a gentleman and several of his minions and believers who followed him throughout uh, basically the country and the city um, in Porta Plata to the um, to the beach to the shores of the beach, uh, trying to say that they were going to be cure or he was going to cure the COVID virus um, issue. You've probably all have heard of this. You've probably seen numerous posts and Instagram, Twitter, YouTube videos as well. Um, and certainly what you saw was craziness. It was lunacy, um, craziness of, of, of a gentleman and some of his followers of what, what happened. I got a few emails uh, this past week invariably asking me about what I foresee when the pandemic ends. And I've talked about this a little bit before uh, in some of my previous videos. If you haven't seen them, please take a look back over the last week or so. And you will be able to see some of those videos in which I did speak uh, uh, to this question. By the way, my email address is listed in the description box uh, below in the video um, uh, page. So please take a look at that if you want to get a hold of me. And so I gave a few thoughts in another video this week about um, travel and what I foresee happening as far as travel is concerned after this pandemic ends. But unfortunately, we still have this coronavirus issue uh, with us. Many of us, including all those around the world, are desperate uh, for this to end as soon as possible. We want to get back to our lives. We want to resume our, our daily lives so that we can get back to normal as quick as possible. But for the moment, as we all know, we're still required to hunker down at home, to be diligent in our, in our hygiene. We're, we're told to continue to space ourselves amongst each other and to wear the, the proverbial pro, pro, protective masks. And so we will continue to do that, and I encourage you to do that. And yet, during all of this, we know and we have witnessed and have felt the serious consequences of what has happened with this, this contagious disease, uh, this contagious virus, I'm sorry, uh, that, that has spread. We've seen the economic costs uh, that has been born uh, as a result of the lockdown. So many businesses have closed and shut. Many sectors of the economy have been hit severely, um, certainly in the Dominican Republic and in other parts of the world uh, as well. Many people have lost jobs, have lost income streams, etc. We've talked about that as well in a previous video. But I do know and I do believe, as well as in the United States, in the Dominican Republic, there is coming a choice, I believe. It's either going to come down to health or earning money to live. And I particularly think this is going to happen in the Dominican Republic. Surely, many people do not want to get infected. Many people do not want to get sick. Yet, they need a means to survive. Uh, the government aid is always never enough and it never lasts long enough. And these government edicts, if you will, of, of confinement, um, spacing yourselves does uh, create problems, but it does serve to um, also stop the spread of the, the virus. And we've seen that over the past several weeks, um, the virus has somewhat subsided. Confinement does work. It does seem to be working. Um, it works very well if you in terms of you're looking at the classes, it works very well among the upper middle class, the upper class, and some middle class seg seg segments of society. The lower class is where there tends to be more overcrowding and people more closely um, in together. Uh, people who are in precarious income situations who have to go out and try to make a living are more apt to be susceptible to contacting that virus. The economic cost as well of confinement is very high, as I mentioned, due to continual closing of businesses and a lack of people um, uh, working. Um, people want to work, people want to produce, people want to get back to living their life. But unfortunately, this virus right now still controls us and our, our actions and, our, and the way we do things. Um, the immediate 
issue right now is to try to control the spread, and that's what people are trying to do. That's what the government is encouraging all of us to help uh, out in, in doing in the Dominican Republic as well as in the United States and around the world. Without a control of this, there will be no economic reopening. It just won't be possible. And so hopefully people will take heed to this, and as soon as this, this, this contagion uh, drops and the mortality rate drops and the number of hospitalized are manageable, then I think we can start talking about realistically um, what's going to happen post-COVID-19. Uh, that is my hope that we'll be able to, to do that as quickly as possible. Um, in the Dominican Republic, I think, what I should say is this, the reopening will probably have to take um, should be done in stages. I've talked about this in one of my last videos. Uh, a gradual reopening of, of the economy. Public transport has to be reopened um, and measures need to be put in place so that people can transport uh, back and forth. They will probably and most most certainly have to, to, to use masks. Um, they're going to have to try to space themselves out. Um, maybe they're going to control the number of people or users or clients that can get on the public transportation systems, whether it's the metro or the cable car in San Domingo. Um, there's going to have to be some, some serious uh, talks and control measures uh, put in place. The buses, the conchos, uh, all of these are going to have to put hygienic rules uh, in place and to most likely cap the passenger uh, capacity uh, accordingly. The second step that I think after transportation is that they're going to have to try to open up the industrial sectors of, of the economy, uh, the agro-industrial uh, areas of the economy. I've spoken about this before. Get the exports going once again. There are exports in the Dominican Republic, contrary to what other YouTubers out there have said to you. There are exports from the Dominican Republic. Those got to get going once again so that income can come back into the uh, Dominican Republic as a result of the export sales uh, that the country is making. Again, all of those, are, all of those um, groups, uh, agricultural and industrial sectors, are going to have to use masks most only. Uh, the owners are going to have to organize the employees in such a way uh, as to hopefully keep them at a distance from uh, possibly affecting each other as well. And then open up the construction, uh, the building uh, industry. Um, construction industry once again trades such as those need to get going and all those that support the construction business will get going once again and one by one we'll start to see the economy get back on its feet in the personal sector um, as I mentioned yesterday in one of the videos you want to get the small mom-and-pop shops going again you want to get the barber shops going the beauty salons you want to get the Kamados open again restaurants started again again this will take some time but again there has to be a phased in step-by-step -step process that I would like to see uh, happen as a result of opening up gradually the um, economy um, let me say this that um, the tourist industry, the tourist sector, will have to open up probably a lot later than the other parts of these economies because these other parts of the economy have to get going in order to support the tourist and the travel sector into the Dominican Republic. Um, again, I just want to keep this um, in mind and to uh, help everyone understand this is that it is important to keep yourself quarantined as long as the government says keep yourself quarantined to follow the curfew uh, if you're in a Dominican Republic um, wear your masks wash your hands follow all the steps and procedures to prevent the COVID virus uh, from spreading because by doing this we'll get back on our feet as quickly as possible and finally incidents like what happened in Puerto Plata cannot be allowed absolutely cannot be allowed why on earth the government the local government there allowed what happened to happen I have no idea I do believe the responsible people should be uh, penalized if not jailed uh, that's just my personal um, opinion but again keep keep up with the effort to um, quarantine yourself to stop the spread of this virus so that the Dominican Republic can get back on its feet as quickly as possible. That's my thought today from me to you, Dominican Rendezvous.